they wanted me to go on the road a week later. I said, okay, you in one week, you're going on the road for the next two to three months. You're going to seven different cities across the United States. Mm -hmm. Put your team together. So at that point, I said, okay, I need an editor. So where do I go to find an editor? I go on Facebook. So I post on Facebook. I said, you know, hey, I'm looking for an editor. I have a lot of friends who are, you know, in, in the uh, media business and uh, got a couple of hits, found it was Brad. I called <laughs> Brad. I'm in front of the White House. I'm talking to Brad. And I said, can you do this? Can you create this content? Do you want to go on the road with me? Uh, and then we went seven cities over the course of two months creating content for Bud Light. Yeah, think of this as like rock stars on tour. Like there was, there was yeah. no sleep. Every single place was a new Bud Light. It was 25 bars in every single city. So just meeting a ridiculous amount of people and editing on the road. We'd go in and they wanted the video shot and cut down all within one week per each city which is an insane turnaround. We'd only get to spend three or four days in each city. It's kind of nutty. So you were filming and you were editing? So I was directing. We had a DP, a producer. Okay. We had a small kind of nimble team that could move place to place to place and all kind of pack into a small, what was it, an Escalade. Um, and we would create the content on the fly. He'd be cutting it in the hotel room as we'd yeah. just be shipping drives back and forth, <laughs> getting the content to Bud Light and having them flip it around what just kind like of that. What type of content do they want? I can't imagine, like... Yeah, uh, what were so, you doing going and traveling and filming so much? What were, you, what were you trying to get? They were trick Instagram videos. So something that would, you'd watch, and it was all done by local bartenders. So we'd go into the bar, and we'd set up a trick. And whether it be the girl waves her hand, and then a beer, like, maybe a beer uh, bottle appears, and then she takes, out of nowhere, just grabs, like, something, and then pours beer down directly into the bottle, and it fills Like up. real tricks, or, like, you make it look like a trick after exactly. editing? Exactly, yeah, yeah, after okay. editing. Um, so after editing these, I don't know, how do you explain it a little bit better than that? It's, it, I mean, it's making these bartenders look like rock stars. We yeah. wanted to make them look like magicians, and we'd create yeah. this, you know, a six-second video that they would give to them, and that these guys would then post on their Facebook so all of their friends are going, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So cool, yeah. And then they would get up-channeled through Bud Light. Now you're talking about an incredible grassroots campaign that's built But it's just from Bud Light, so how does the other drinks have anything to do with it? it? Well, everything we'd film with the bartenders were Bud Light specific, right? So we'd bring in Bud Light props or use the Bud Lights that they had in the bar. For each city, we had a okay. Bud Light glass, and we'd use that Bud Light glass maybe once in one of the magic tricks out of 25. Okay. So these were six to ten second videos that were just really fast, like you'd watch it on Vine and you'd be like, wait, what the heck just happened? How did the bartender do that unrealistic thing? Whether it be taking a six pack mm -hmm. and pouring it into six cups all at one time. And with it goes a viral girl. and everyone shares it. Mm -hmm. But it goes viral yeah. in a sense of, not because Bud Light posted it to go viral, it goes viral in a sense because the local bartender from each one of the 25, 25 bars in each city posted on their Facebook. And then once all their friends see it, they start sharing it. And of then course. it's this viral spread. And yeah. then Bud Light gets involved. 